Hey folks, this is a game I made for the edX course Design and Development of Games for Learning. It's a free magnetism or electrostatic simulator you can play in your browser. Uh, it teaches the intuition behind the inverse square law and Coulomb's law, which is basically where opposites attract and like charges repel, and uh, also how distance changes that force. And I made this so high school teachers can show their class a cool simulation and also so their students can play the game and set up their own experiments and see what happens. There's a puzzle mode with levels I've made and they say when they're complete with a high score. There's a sandbox mode where you set up any experiment you want, though you need to finish the puzzles first to go there. And the first few levels just teach you how to start the simulation, how to move around, how to look around, how to change the particles, and how to complete a level. So the numbers you see here are the charges on each ball, and the larger balls have more mass. So when they come into contact, the inverse square law overpowers the little red ones, and they're pushed away from that big red one. For the tug of war level, this text explains the inverse square law, but basically here you can double a charge and you want to hold on to that rig big red ball. So do you want to double this one, or double this three, which is twice as far, or double this 12, which is four times as far? Uh, so what's the best way? Because if you just press go, the big red ball will blast away all of those uh, little ones and you'll lose points. There's other levels too, like the ion scoop one, where you're trying to suck in as many red particles as you can by making small changes to those neutral cubes in the middle. And in the sandbox mode, you're given full control. You can place balls and cubes, let them move or not move, uh, change their mass, their charge, their start velocity. And after starting the simulation, you can still make changes and place new particles. Finally, you can always restart the simulation to how it was before you started the sandbox simulation. So this is a Unity 3D project written in C Sharp, and it's open source, which means anyone can open up the project and look at how it works, or make their own changes to it. If you're curious about learning more, I have a bunch of Unity 3D tutorial videos on YouTube designed for people with very little programming experience like high school students. And there's even one on how I made this magnetism game. Anyway, try playing the game in your browser, and thanks for watching.